Hi, I am Chris Walker and welcome to the historic Lathrop Hall. This building was founded in 1910 and was the Women's Physical Education Building. Come with me. At the time, it was dedicated to the study and research of women's physical education. And it is in this building that dance as a university subject began. One thing I love about Lathrop Hall is feeling like I am walking through history every time I come to work. In 1926, under the leadership of Margaret Dobler, the University of Wisconsin-Madison became the first university in the world to offer a degree in dance. That began right here, in this building. We celebrate that history as we continue to build upon it every day. Today, on our first floor, we house the Radical Pedagogy exhibit. Lathrop Hall was renovated in 1995. The building has five large dance studios with sprung floors. Each studio is rigged for digital media output. Lathrop also houses a state-of-the-art theater, smart classrooms, offices, conference rooms, and lounge spaces. We are in the Virginia Harrison Parlor. This space was used as a dance studio for many years and has been restored to its original aesthetics with antique furnishings, decorations, and fixtures. The parlor functions as a social gathering space for the campus community. I call this space the Margaret Dobler Foyer. It's a gateway to two important spaces, Dance Studio 349 and the Margaret Dobler Performance Space. This is a sort of space where folks can engage intimately with our history. At some point, you see students warming up, preparing for classes or for rehearsal. And at another time, it's audience members who are waiting for performance. So this space for me holds a sort of hopeful anticipation. Love it. This is the Margaret Dobler performance space, built into what was originally the women's physical education gym. You will see the original running track upstairs that some of our light rigging is on. And if you follow me down, this is our original gym floor. And of course, this, our stage. So this is Studio 349. At its entrance is a quote from Jodie Arnold. Dance engages the student's whole body and mind for expressive purposes. Dance, meaning not just technique, but also improvisation and choreography, fosters collaboration, creativity, problem solving, citizenship. The dance studio is where that happens. It's a space for technical training and creative problem solving and play. This studio has Marley floor, it has adjustable bars, have a piano, drums and other percussions are brought in specific to the classes. This is the basement level, which houses offices on both sides, a classroom and spaces for lounging. This is Studio B101. This studio used to be a swimming pool. It's deep, it's wide, it's bright, it's airy. Oh. I love this studio. Oh. Pilates, African dance, ballroom dance, jazz, hip hop, all of the fun stuff happens right here. Oh yes, and cleaning supplies and PPE everywhere. Let's go upstairs. This is the Klepper Studio on our fifth floor. This space also converts to a black box performance space. And several times a year, the Klepper Studio transforms from a space of training to a space of sharing work and engaging with our community around the conversations of dance. 
So this is our fifth floor hallway, which is a magical space. Many of our students use this for dance on camera works and other digital type of choreography. And you see all these stored signs, costumes, props, performance equipment on either side. At the end of this hallway is our Pilates studio. Let's go check it out. The Pilates studio in Lathrop Hall is technically the sixth studio. Right now, to accommodate physical distancing, and because we have a robust certificate program in Pilates, we have two studios with Pilates equipment. So come with me to check out the other studio. Students completing the Pilates certificate are required to do a certain amount of equipment hours. And so these studios are open for students on the weekend, Monday to Sunday, Sunday to Saturday. Studio 249 is another space for creative play and creative engagement. It's an intimate studio, low ceilings, lovely padded columns, it's a space that we use for stretch and relaxation. It's a space that we use for interdisciplinary work. It's a space that we use for collaboration across art forms. There's something about human creative energy and, and studio spaces, like every artist that uses that space leave a little bit of themselves in it, you know? Leave a little bit of their kinetic energy in that space for the next generation of artists to come and benefit from. And that is one of the values of being in a building that was designed for understanding physical education and being in a building where the idea of dance as a discipline could be investigated and recognizing that we are continuing that lineage. And there is all of this history and energy that lives in the building and in the studios that continue to push you, that continue to encourage you. An energy in Lathrop Hall, that is the history of American dance on a university campus, yeah.